If a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to see it, did it really fall? Hey guys, Cole Fogel here on A Healthy Balance. You can see my beautiful cat Mimi that I did a video on. Now you can see her clearly because the video I did didn't speak her justice. Isn't she gorgeous back there? And I got to thinking about the game Minecraft because lately I've been hearing a lot of talk from different, you know, different YouTube, different conspiracy theories, and kind of my own personal belief, the potential that this life, this existence that we live in is potentially a simulation, that it's like Minecraft, which is a very popular game that a lot of people like to play. And I was just thinking like, what is Minecraft? Minecraft is basically you go in and you create your own world. And it's kind of like the concept of manifesting your own reality. You're literally building your own world around you. If this reality that we live in is a simulation, then couldn't we in theory build our own reality just like you can in a Minecraft game. I feel like Minecraft especially has a great deal of popularity because people are drawn to the idea of other worlds and other realities. Maybe we live in a Minecraft world where nothing is real until it's visually right in front of you. You know, like when you're in a video game, the image appears when you walk up to it. And that's sort of the idea of we live in this simulation. So my point is, is our human consciousness, does it have the ability to think a reality up? Does that mean our consciousness and our belief system will actually affect and manifest the outcome of our day-to-day -day lives? I'd like to believe so. But tell me what you think and leave a comment below. And I will catch you next time on A Healthy Balance. Look at me lying here on top of my clean laundry.